Hi, and welcome to Home Assistant How To with Bearded Thinker. Today we will be playing with the automations and triggers, with the new additions that were added in 2021.7. We'll start in a couple of seconds. As always, before we go any further, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for all of your support so far. And also thanks to everybody who liked, watched or subscribed to my channel. Thank you. And now let's get started with today's video. In the version 2021.7, we have new features that were added to Home Assistant. One of the features that I like the most is this, ability to reference other entities in triggers and conditions. I did mention this on stream, that was held yesterday, and by the way, if you didn't watch my stream, you can always find the recording on my channel. While I mentioned this, I also mentioned that I was using it for the same thing that was done here, but since I didn't implement the new way of handling this, I had to use the other way or the old way on how to compare values between the entities. So today we will be creating the same thing that Frank did here, in order for us to track when the inside temperature is higher or colder than the outside one. And I use this automation to notify me when I should close or open my windows, either to prevent heating up or to ensure that the apartment is cooling down. So let's get started with this one. This is pretty simple, all you have to do is have two sensors that have numerical values. But instead of YAML, for this we will be using the Automations Editor inside Home Assistant. So let's go there. Configuration, Automations, let's add Automation. Start with Empty Automation. In Automations Editor we will create two automation. First automation will be to warn us when we have to close the window. This will be done by checking if the external temperature is above the internal temperature. So we will call this warmer outside. Trigger type will be numeric state. Entity will be balcony. Balcony temperature. And we need to make sure that it is above the internal temperature. Let me type E. Find the name of the sensor. It will be dining room temperature. And we will paste it here. So now our entity, this is sensor uh, balcony temperature, this is the outside temperature, is checking if it is above the living room temperature. And if it is, we'll create an action, call service, notify, and let's push this to Synology chat. Message will be, please close the windows. External temperature is, and let me paste here the code I have in my own setup, and this is the information about the current temperature and the difference between the internal and external temperature. As you can see, if we want to have uh, variables inside our message, we cannot use the UI anymore. Instead, it is converted to the YAML, but that shouldn't be the difference. The only thing we have to customize here is now this. Please close the window, inside temperature is and it will be pulling the state of that sensor. Then it will be doing math. It will be taking that sensor and it will subtract the outside temperature. Let me just use other sensor here. So it will say that it is a living room minus balcony, cooler than outside. And this should be it. In order for you to improve of this, you can add conditions. For example, you do not want to have this uh, warning if, for example, it is winter and you are heating and you know that during the winter, for example, your inside temperature doesn't go above 24 degrees. So we can add condition here. Let's 
living room temperature is above 24. Let's save this. And this now will be triggered when our balcony temperature is above our living room temperature. So for example, in the living room we have 24 degrees and outside we have 25 degrees. If we wouldn't uh, close the windows or doors, the heat from outside would come in. The condition for this to be triggered, or it will be triggered only if the condition is met and the condition is that the living room temperature has to be above 24 degrees. And when it does, it will create action or notification, it will call our Synology chatbot and it will post the message, please close the windows, inside temperature is 24, uh, one degree cooler than outside. This is saved, let's go back. And let's run this action. If everything is okay, we should now see in our Synology chat the message from the Home Assistant. Let's check the chat. And this is the message. Unfortunately, my temperature inside is already 26.6 degrees and it's warmer than outside. So it's not cooler than outside. But then again, I also want additional condition that will tell me when to open the windows. And we will do what we did before. We will just inverse above with below. Let's add automation, start with empty automation, cooler outside. Once again, we'll be using numeric state. Temperature, if it's below, sensor dot living room temperature. There is one additional thing that you can add, but I will not be adding here, is that you can add the time difference. For example, when the temperatures are very near to each other and you have, for example, two decimal places, it can happen that the temperature fluctuates. So in one minute it's cooler, in the other minute it's hotter than outside. So you can, for example, add here 400.05.00 and this will only be triggered if this condition is met for at least five minutes. But as I said, I will not be adding that one. Let's remove it. For condition, you can once again add, but you do not have to add numerical state. Leaving room temperature is above 24 degrees. And for the action, once again, we will create notification Call service, see no chat. And once again, for the code, I will be pasting what I have in my main setup. So let me just quickly fix this notification. Open windows, inside temperature is, and we will be using a living room temperature here. Living room temperature. And we want to check if the living room temperature is hotter or what is the difference between the balcony temperature and that should be it let's save this so now whenever the balcony temperature is below the living room temperature so for example in the living room temperature we have 26 degrees and it's already starting to cool down outside and outside it's 24 degrees the trigger will be triggered we have additional condition that is checking if the living room temperature is above 24 degrees and if both conditions are met, trigger conditions and condition condition is met, we will receive following message. Open windows, inside temperature is 26 degrees and then we will calculate what is the difference. It is 26 minus 24, so 2 degrees hotter than outside. Let's check if it's working. Let's run this and let's see what our Synology chat says. Open windows, inside temperature is 26.63, it's minus one hotter than outside, meaning that already the external temperature should be 27 and something. And we can check this value. 
Currently, the balcony temperature is 27.1. And as we've seen, the temperature of the inside sensor is 26. So yes, there is difference of minus one degree. Okay, and this is it. So for what else can you use this? This can be used for mostly anything. For example, if you want to check what are the light conditions of the two sensors, if they are greater than or equal to one another, and you can use this to trigger your lights. Then, of course, you can play with the humidity. You can check if, for example, your bathroom humidity is higher or lower against the humidity in some other room or outside, and based on that, trigger the ventilation inside bathroom. So there are a lot of ways on how you can improve your setup with this simple but very powerful addition to Home Assistant. And I would really like to hear what ideas you have and for what are you using or you will be using this new addition to Home Assistant. And this is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Thinker. I really do hope that you like this video. And if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up because it not just means very much to me and I really do mean a lot, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified in the future updates. If you have any kind of a comment or question in regard to this video or any previous video I did, you can always find me on the Discord server and the link to my Discord server is down in the description of the video. But also feel free to leave comment down in the comment section below. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have fun.